Guys, I just found the craziest hack for platforms like Lovable. I'm not lying when I say this, this is the single most interesting thing I've found since I've discovered platforms like Lovable and Bolt.new. If you've built apps with these platforms, they might not have the best looking user interface, but this hack I'm gonna show you changes everything. If you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you could copy user interface components into your own application using this platform called 21st.dev. This platform is essentially a directory of a bunch of different user interface components that you can use in your own applications and plug them in instantly. All right, with that being said, I wanna dive in and actually show you this. Guys, this is simply the craziest thing I've seen when it comes to platforms like Bolt.new, Lovable, all of these platforms to build with AI. I found this hack that's gonna completely change the way you build your apps and makes the user interface look like spectacular. It's crazy. So first of all, I wanna show you this that I built really quickly. I just wanna show you the UI components. Look at how beautiful and amazing this looks. Like, look at this right here, These this little dock of these things. You could see right here for the wait list, the wait list button has a nice little glow effect to it. The pricing, this looks amazing. Look at this animation here, guys. This looks awesome. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in this video. So I found this like directory called 21st.dev. And what this directory is, is it's a whole library of UI components. So user interface components. A component is like each of these things. So like the text, how it looks like this, this animation. This is a UI component. That's a UI component. All of those things. So you can scroll through here and see any UI component that you like and add it simply to your app. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So for example, you could see right here, the lamps right here, build lamps the right way. This I copied into my application and now it looks like this with this really sick looking animation that you could easily add to your platform. So all you need to do is you come here, click on this and this is crazy. So you get the code in order to just copy and paste this into your app, but there is this feature inside of here that optimizes it for Lovable, for Bolt.new, for Vercel, V0, all of these different platforms. So you can see I have this right here ready to go, copy the prompt for Lovable, and there we go, it copied that prompt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to Lovable now, and I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this in, and it will now create that user interface component and just take it and put it into my app exactly how it is. And we could obviously customize it. So first of all, let's say build me a blank app. So I'm gonna copy this prompt. So here we go, you can see I now have this UI component set. We could come here and preview this app. Just look at how good that is. And all I did was simply copy and paste that code inside of 21st.dev. And we could come back and we could find anything we want. So for example, if we like this button here, like you saw in that first that I built, you know, I, I copied that button and essentially pasted here, as well as this. Look at this little dock here that looks like almost like a computer keyboard. It looks so amazing. Like that looks like just, I don't know how to explain, just like makes my OCD feel good. Like this looks so clean. And I just found this on 21st.dev. So you can come and find anything. Let me play around with some more things. So you could see we could add these animated testimonials. We can come over to this left-hand side and you could see all of these different things. So for landing pages, you can see UI elements. Like for example, we could come to like avatar and let's see what avatar looks like. For whatever reason, these aren't wanting to load. So the only thing that's loading is when I'm on the homepage. But let me just keep scrolling through and find some of these things that we actually like and we could add this easily to our app. Okay, so if we have a form of like AI voice app, we could then use this UI component that looks super clean. All we need to do is we need to come here, which let's test this out first. Test, test, test. Like that looks super clean. That's awesome. So all we need to do, come up here, choose the app that we're trying to optimize this for. We're going to be using Lovable because it's my favorite no code AI coding platform. Copy this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say implement this, blow the lamp UI component and then paste it. Next thing you know, it's actually going to paste this and copy this into our app. Give it a second and let's take a look at it. Boom. Here we go. Test, test, test. How are you? That looks great, but let's change change this, change that to dark mode. I'm gonna take a screenshot here and then let it know what we're talking about because I want it to look exactly like this. I think that looks really cool. Okay, there we go. It's now in dark mode. This looks awesome. So far, this is an amazing looking user interface for our application using no code at all. So I like this scroll animation feature here. So let's just add this again, copy the, pit, copy the prompt for Lovable. It's already optimized for Lovable and it will now have some form of scrolling effect like this added to our app. Guys, this is actually blowing my 
my mind. I know I'm kind of over exaggerating this in this video maybe, but this seriously is so cool to me. Using Lovable, using Bolt, it's great building cool apps and you know creating SaaS products, but a lot of the times the user interface just doesn't look great. And the reason for that is because we don't know how to actually build these UI components ourselves unless we know how to code. The fact now that we have a directory just like this in 21st.dev and we could copy and paste any of these into our apps, this changes the game. We could build amazing looking applications now. No longer do we get the very basic looking fonts and stuff and backgrounds in our apps. We have a really cool looking app. So I'm gonna quit stressing on that because it's probably annoying at this point, but it's just blowing my mind. Okay, here we go. So here's a new scroll animation. Okay, so if we, for whatever reason, had something on an iPad, we could then just say, you know, add this image to the iPad and then it will showcase it kind of like, you know, what it has like right here. Let's add one more thing just for the sake of this video. So let's add now, let's see, what are some cool, cool things here? Okay, so this number flow here, I like this. So if we have a like wait list for our email list, which make sure to sign up with my, to my email list below AI for non-techies. But if we had an email list or something, we could show, okay, here's how many users have already signed up. So let's copy that. Let's now add this to show how many any users we have signed up to our wait or our email list. Okay, one last thing, I'm trying to add this number UI component here, but one other thing I wanna mention is when you're building your app and say you add these different UI components, you just need to kind of um, identify them when you're talking in the prompt. So for example, like you need to figure out what this lamp UI component is, like what the name of it is, and then you could address it and say, okay, underneath this lamp component, add this component, and then it makes it much easier to actually build your app in an like, intuitive way. So that's a little tip for you guys, but let's see how we could actually add this last UI component here. Okay, so for whatever reason, I'm having issues actually implementing this little uh, feature here. So disregard that. But guys, I hope you guys got some value from this video. This is a really cool way. I've said it 10 times. I don't need to say it again, but um, I hope you guys got some value. Hopefully this kind of changes the way you build your apps with Lovable. This is insane. Let me know if you guys got some value from this. Subscribe to the channel for more hacks like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.